Hey guys, welcome to the Beat the Trilogy podcast. I'm the host, Manuel Chavez. We're here with Alejandro Chavez, also known as Speedy. Uh, he's a lifelong resident of West Covina. He attended Sacred Heart Elementary and Middle School. He's currently a senior at Bishop Watt and recently signed a letter of intent to go to Stanford. He was an all-league football player, winning lineman of the year for his league, and also a second team all-league basketball selection. So, Fien, why do they play Fien? Well, so, it all started like, like when I was younger. So, my middle name is Efrain, which is also my grandpa's name. And um, when we were younger, we couldn't really pronounce that or like, we didn't know how to say that. So, we kind of just shortened that to uh, Fien. So, he was big Fien, now little Fien. And it kind of just like was in my family for a little bit. Then once I got to school, uh, all my friends heard my family calling me like Fien, right? Mm -hmm. So then they kind of started calling me that because it's like way easier to say like Alejandro, just kind of like a long name. And uh, people struggled to say it. So uh, they just started calling me Fien. And then once I got to high school, I tried to go back to like Alejandro. Yeah. But then like my friends from Sacred Heart, like my old friends, they just started calling me Fien. And then once the coaches and all the other people heard it, they just started calling me Fien. Like I said, it's like easier to so my actual name. Um, yeah, so it doesn't like bother me when people call me Fiend, but uh, once I like leave, like to go to college or whatever, I'm trying to trying to go back to Alejandro or like something like that. Just to, just so, to switch so it So do you not like it when people call you Fiend? No, it doesn't, I don't, like, it doesn't bother me, but um, I prefer to, it's like when I go to college, I'm just gonna like start, new, I just wanna like, start yeah, something yeah. fresh, yeah. So, but did, okay, I have a question. Did you wanna play football at Stanford? Like, at Stanford, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, funny thing is that uh, I wanted to quit freshman year. Like going into my end of my freshman year, like going into my sophomore year, like I didn't want to. I was because uh, I didn't get any like playing time really, and like freshman year I was like trash, like absolute trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I say that, I was like fourth string on the freshman year, and that was like uh, I came in like five nine, five ten. Uh -huh. And then uh, that freshman, the sophomore summer, I uh, grew. I was like, I went to like six, like one. And then I just got better because I just got like like lankier and my arms got longer. So uh, I originally was playing like guard and stuff. And then one time one of my friends got like kicked out like from practice. And then my whole line coach, we're gonna put you at tackle. I don't want to. I was like, dude, I don't even want to be here. But uh, he put me in a tackle, and then I did like one like rep on the one v one, and like that was no bad. <laughs> so he was like, "Whoa!" Like, and then I kind of decided playing tackle. And then my sophomore year, I started at left tackle, did pretty solid, and I got pulled up to playoffs that year that we played modern day mm -hmm. for football. And then uh, junior year, I started right tackle. I started like liking it. Like, that was getting more playing time. It was more fun. So I started right tackle junior year. And I got second team all league or something like that. And then this past year, I really um, developed like a lot. And just like started to understand it more, like a lot more football knowledge sense, you know? And uh, I did a lot, surprisingly. Like I wasn't the strongest like at all, but like my technique was pretty solid. Like it was a lot of like screens and just like me being mobile and agile just helped me. And also with that long snapping thing, because like I was, a pretty, I was pretty flexible for a big guy. And um, so yeah, I started like long snapping and all that, which obviously helped me. So I'm glad that I stuck with it for sure. And a big reason why I stuck with it was just because of like my mom. Dude, she bet me. I was that. So why did you choose Stanford? Well, um, I wanted to go to Stanford for a while, probably since like second grade. I was a UCLA guy before. I just like I just like the colors, like the baby blue. Yeah. Like the, the, the jerseys went hard with the gold and all that. But then, like, I started like um, I became smart, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, no, I just uh, I I was like looking at like I kind of started to understand more about college and all that. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw that Stanford was like a really good, I has like one of the best education in the world, and I wanted that, but also plays like Division One football in the Pac-12. Yeah. So I was like, it's the best of both worlds. It's like a really good balance. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna go there. And then that path to going there and like eventually like finally signing my letter of intent was a struggle, you know? Um, a lot of people like just saying like, uh, like always have a backup plan. Like, it's like really hard to get in, but I didn't like, 
pay into that too much, and I just kind of like did my own thing and uh, stuck with it, and I got to where I'm at now. So, if you didn't get to Stanford, what other schools were you looking at? I was looking at uh, Cornell, which is in uh, like New York, like upstate. Uh, it was mostly Cornell. They were like recruiting heavy, and then Pomona Pitzer, they really like wanted me. Uh, but yeah, my second option was Cornell for sure. But I'm not sure about that anymore. So, what was your favorite sport growing up? Like, was it just football or? Honestly, no. no. It was basketball. Basketball? And it's saying a lot considering I'm not the best. Mm -hmm. Like, it was even worse than like elementary school, like I said, your heart. I was just like the big kid. That was it. Like, uh, but it was basketball. I had, I had fun playing basketball. Like football, like, whatever. So what I did enjoy, sorry, sorry. But what I did enjoy was basketball. No. So you didn't take football seriously until you got into um, like, I was in there. Yeah, like I did flag football. That was cool, like whatever. Um, and like freshman year, of, like in high school, was like my first um, first year tackle. So did you play Friday Night Lights? Yeah. So I did. Uh, I did uh, like flag football, or whatever, at my elementary school, and then once like the Friday Night Lights stuff started, like. I got into that. And that was fun. Like, I, I enjoyed uh Like, it was just more of a, like, fun time. I wasn't like, oh, I want to take this. Like, seriously, I'm going to... I'm planning to play in college. Because, like, before I got into high school and all that, I didn't, like, think about playing in college. Or, like, just whatever. Like, I really don't care. I just want to, like, do school. Mm -hmm. So, on school, how do you balance academics and athletics? Honestly, it's a little... It was a little bit of struggle at first. Because, um, like... It does kind of like suck sometimes when like you have practice or like homework when you want to go out with friends. Yeah. Like it's a lot of uh, self sacrifice, just trying to stay uh, committed and focused. Cause there is a lot of distractions like all the time. So it's more of a you have to find within yourself to be willing to commit. Mm -hmm. Cause once you commit like and make that like I want to do this, you just have to stick with it. And once you do, like it's obviously very rewarding. Um, you just gotta stay focused. That's how I did. I just like stay focused, committed, and then, like I would write uh, my like week out so I could like plan and uh, um, just focus on one thing at a time, like lists. Yeah. Just uh, that's how I stay focused and just move one, one thing to the next because like uh, sometimes I would get like overwhelmed or whatever. Yeah. But then I'll just like take a little break, breathe, and then just go over my list and not one thing ahead. So. In all your four years at Alma, what was your favorite class? That's a really good question. I don't know. Well, honestly, probably chemistry with uh, Mr. Fjord. He was a really good teacher. He was fun. Yeah. And that was a really interesting class because they like me and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was that helping? Yeah. So what, what do you plan to study at, um, uh, at Stanford? Well, at Stanford, uh, I'm looking to um, go into like some sort of like I'm leaning more towards civil engineering, but it's between civil or architectural engineering, and uh, that all that all started when I was really like kind of kid because yeah. I always like love Legos. Uh -huh. I got I they still love Legos. I have like like three four sets at home still that I'm just like working on building. Um, that kind of just got me into like buildings and stuff, and uh, I've always just been like, interested in that. And then um, another thing is, like when you go to Disneyland, see all the like architecture and buildings. That's mm -hmm. always interested me. So I was like, I want to do that. And then uh, so after uh, Stanford, I said, go to NFL. So yeah, what after Stanford? What is your like your dream job? Like what do you want to do? So, I mean, obviously I'm gonna work hard and like if I go to the NFL, that happens. Like you know, uh -huh. like there's a there's a pretty solid chance because there's not very very many long snappers. You know. Mm -hmm. So if the NFL, but I plan to stay four years at Stanford because I want my degree. Because football is not forever, you know. I have a plan after that. So I plan to stay all four years at Stanford, and then see what happens, like with like football and all that. And if that doesn't work out, then uh, the main goal is to be like an Imagineer. Um, they're like the people that work at Disneyland. Like, wow. There's like different like groups and stuff, but the one I want to work in is like the ones that build like the rides and like all those like buildings and stuff, and, like those new lands. Yeah. 
Because I've always loved your name. Just the little. Uh, when was the last time you went? I would pass. I go. Uh, so I just like love all the little like, uh, like the little details. Like uh, you see all these like details in the ride and like the building and stuff. I just love that. I like the little, like the little things. Your favorite ride? Park. Well, which park? There's uh, like in Disneyland, like uh-huh. actual Disneyland, probably. I like like Matterhorn or like Space Mountain or something like that. But in California Adventure, probably cars are like, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> and then uh, either the, the Guardians one, the, oh, the one I go over, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. So, obviously, a very religious, religious, um, which is private school, happy private school, Notre, Notre Dame never really considered. Oh. Well, honestly, it was because, so I, uh, so it's kind of like a little bad story. Um, on my first year. So when I was in eighth grade, which was um, eighth grade. Oh, okay. Uh the on my football team, like they went they took a trip to Chicago and they're over there, like we uh went to like a pretty like a lot of stuff, like the Breaker Field. And then me and my family, like, when we had a little break, we went to the United Center for the first week. And, uh, it was pretty cool, right? And then, uh, Indiana's not too far from there. So, we all went to the, uh, Notre Dame. I forgot how they played, but it was Notre Dame, and they had, like, a full game, obviously. And, uh, we went to, it was pretty cool, like, the atmosphere was intense and all that. Uh-huh. It was cool. a lot of, like, see that they, like, die hard, like, just like the thing. Yeah. I, was, I was like, it's pretty good, like football atmosphere, like um, just like a big support system. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then like when we visited, the campus was beautiful. It was, it was actually like a consideration, like going into this. And uh, my dad was telling me about that too before we went. But uh, then we had like family out there, like, oh, like an uncle or something like that. But uh, that was a big consideration before I got there, and then once I got there, it was kind of. Uh, a little different, eh? a little different. You know, there's a lot of uh, there's not very much like diversity over there except for like the bowl team. Not really. mm-hmm. So like, it's not it's not over here like like, like everyone's like all together like uh, a bunch of different like, cultures and stuff. Yeah, over there is very like uh, I don't know if I could I don't know if I could like deal with that because like going from a place where there's so many different like backgrounds and stuff like. After I visited and stuff, which was good, I visited in the city, and I was like, nah, uh, that's not me. So, how does faith play in your everyday life? Um, it's a, actually like a pretty like big part of my life, you know. Uh, it's I became a big faith guy when I was like younger because um, my brother. He went through like a lot of uh, well, obviously, like he has like a disability, right? Mm-hmm. And like before that, we were, I was just kind of like, I feel like I knew about like God, or whatever. But it was kind of, I was like, I knew about him, like yeah, I'd, like we go to church. And, yeah, that was kind of uh, like a blank, like just me like doing it because I kind of have to. Yeah. But um, after like my brother had like a, quite a few surgeries, and there was this one where it was just kind of like it was a little iffy, you know. And, uh, but we came together, like, as a family, and then we kind of, like, talked about it and stuff. But, uh, we just started, like, uh, like, looking at, like, God more, and, like, praying more, and, like, obviously, that helped a lot. He's still here, thank God. And, uh, but, like, after that, I became, like, very, uh, like, thankful. So I kind of, like, started to, uh, like, look to him more, like, like when I'm struggling, like, Let's say if it was like either like for football or I just kind of feel like lost or whatever. Yeah. Like I would like, I would look to him instead of somewhere else, you know. Um, it's kind of become more uh, centered in my life. Yeah. It was kind of like a back, like 
just like kind of move it back. And, but it's become a lot more centered. Like I like this cross that I wear every day, just like thinking everything that they've done for me, you know, because mm-hmm. I live a pretty blessed life. Like I go to, I've been, I've been in Catholic school my whole life, or I went to private schools. And uh, especially at Alma, they're like, I'm glad that we have to take like the religion classes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just like learn about it more. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's and then like before I began, like, I, would, like, I put crosses on my face. Like not just for like, just to like, look cool. Like, I, like to me, because like a lot of some of the players they kind of do like all like it's cool. Like, yeah. but, like I did it for like, I had like a reason, I had a purpose. Mm-hmm. You know, just like help me like protect me on the field from like any injuries and stuff. And it, it worked, it it was a very, it's become very fundamental in my life. And uh, I thank God for where I'm at right now in the position that he's put me in my family. So what was, what was your favorite experience at Omaha? Um, honestly, probably, no, not probably, for sure, like going out there Friday nights uh, on the football field. Um, like last year, or my, yeah, last year, my junior year, it was just kind of, eh. It was just kind of there because of like COVID and all that. So you, I didn't really get the full experience, which is kind of like kind of like beneficial because I did play on like Friday nights, but it was like less of a crowd. So it was like kind of like less pressure sort of. Mm-hmm. But like this, uh, my senior year, you know, um, against La Havre, like that, like just walking through the banner with all those fans, everyone like just cheering for you at the dog pound, with some music going, I got the powder and all that, and then just put on a show. Uh, them, yeah. Everything's like, we're gonna lose. I don't know if we're gonna have a bad season. Can you talk about Damien? You played Damien? Sorry. <laughs> no, when you played Damien. I don't know why there's so much hype around it. Alright, I kind of get it. Like, SGV showdown, whatever. And they felt like they're good. Yeah, but, like, but uh, that was really cool because, like, I was like, after the game, like, we killed them, whatever. Like, we kind of like, silenced it. And then right after, Literally, like, I don't know if it was hours after or the day after, they wanted to, like, get out of the contract. Like, I was like, because it's not like, it like a three year contract or something. Uh-huh. Like, they play us for like three years, and like, literally the day after, I think it was, they, like, no, we went out. And wait, that, wait, I just wait, thought wait, it was wait, cool. wait, wait. Huh? How'd you find out? I just kind of like, like, well, okay. like, like, Twitter, like, you know, like, everything gets on Twitter. So I was like, I thought that was pretty funny, and that was cool, and then everyone transferred. Yeah. So it's literally the only one the quarterback now, and then, like, Chocolate and running back. But yeah, it was pretty cool just to see it. Like, and like literally after that game, they didn't they didn't win one for the rest of the year. They kind of broke them. Yeah, um, crazy. And I like, remember the pack. Yeah, that was like the biggest game of the people. Yeah, that was pretty. It was fun. That one was fun. And the uh, like, we kind of broke it open with like one mark. Did the kicker turn? Uh huh. Yeah, oh, yeah that, that like that just broke it open. That just like. It was fun, but like, I don't know really. Fun. Like, were you nervous, like, going into it, like... Like, me, personally? Because like, you, you guys were supposed to win, so... Yeah. Like, were you nervous, like, oh, we might lose this? Or... No, never, we might lose this. Um, you know, like, what my dad is talking, like, you never, you, you never, you stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you know? Uh-huh. Like, me, I was like, I'm just going to, like, do my job, just, like, down me, because I'm not going to, oh, we're going to win, like, I'm going to, like... Because if we do, once you do that, it's... Like, look what happened, like, like an example, like, those, like, NCAA, like, the March Madness that just happened, like, St. Peter's, oh, like, we're going to beat them, and look what happened, they made it, like, far, just because they felt, like, no one believed in them, so that's kind of how, like, I went to every game, like, no one believed in us, because, like, uh, like, we're playing on all in the like, at the beginning of the season, like, oh, it's going to be, like, a rough, rough year for them on, or whatever, and then we ended up making, like, I think it was, what was it, semis? It was semifinals? It was, it was quarter final. Quarter final. Quarterfinal, yeah, and uh, just like showing them, like we, because we're in, we're supposed to win like what, like three, four games or something, yeah. and then we went. I forget something two something in, no it's three something two three yeah it was, three. Three. Yeah, it was seven three. Three. it was seven three and then we made it to the playoffs and like yeah. so it was pretty cool just to um like show them like um, that like kind of like diverse kind of way because we didn't have like. A ton of like big names. It was just like a lot of like, hard work in the weight room yeah. that helped us. That's what helps us like every year. Just that work ethic, especially with like Coach Haggerty and uh, all the coaches, just like pushing us, just to never set, just like always stay working, 
always pushing forward. There's a once you like let that let your foot off the gas pedal, it's like there's no change. Like it's gonna be good. Yeah. So what was it like playing like basketball like, in the playoffs? That was really like fun. compare it compare it to like football like the enemy. It it's it was a different type of energy because football like. The energy was like, oh, I feel I'm, like I'm, football is like you're more far away from the crowd. Yeah, so yeah. Easy. So football is like, football you can lock in more because yeah. not everyone's like, yeah, they're on the side of like in the stands, or whatever. But it's not like it's like a bigger space, you know. Yeah. And like football, you can lock in more and just. And like, you, don't, you don't like look at them. You just like this. Yeah, just look at your job. Just like they're not like a big distraction. Uh-huh. But uh, it's like a different like energy. Like I'm gonna go like mess this dude up like that. Yeah. And basketball is like more of like finesse like technique stuff. But like with basketball and then the gym and stuff, it's like a close space, right? Yeah. So everything echoes, and it's just like louder. To me, it's like it's like way louder. Mm-hmm. Like in the Kettle Center, like in Kiefer, like the Kettle Center is like, it's like way louder. There's a lot more people like in the in less space. Like it, uh, like the loudest game like in the playoffs, but it was like yeah, in, yeah. and it was like that was loud, dude. It was loud in there, that was, and that was pretty cool. Like I was like, dude, this is so dope. It was packed. Yeah, and I had a lot of fans that went, which was really cool. And um, yeah, that one was loud, but it was like energy to like how we keep going. Like when, <laughs> like when they started chanting my name or whatever. Oh yeah, that was, I thought that was funny. Like they tried to get in my head. I thought it was just cool. Like it helped me play better, honestly. But uh, yeah, it's just like a different type of. You can, it's more in your ear, uh-huh. which um, it helps. Like it gets you more distracted and like away from the game. So I feel like basketball is more like mental than football because. Like, get to stay locked in more and not listen to that crowd. Like, um, try to get into your head. And, like, all the, like, trash talk, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, with all that trash talk, I don't, I don't buy it. I, uh, I would never, like, talk to that. Mm-hmm. Like, if they say something, like, oh, okay, I wouldn't do anything. I, like, mess them up on the next play. Like, I'll go pancake to the guy next play. And I just, like, kind of, like, left. Yeah. And, like, me not talking, like, I feel like it um, gets into their head. You know, because like, oh, I'm like, getting to this guy or like whatever, and he's just like doing his job. So, and the same thing for basketball. Like there was in St. Paul, too. <laughs> no, so. I talked trash once, and then I was like, St. Paul. And, uh, but uh, it was just kind of, I just, I, I try to say, you know, repeat that on the um, Discord. Wait, to so the big guy? Yeah, the big number 15. I don't know. I think it was 15 or something like that. But uh, it was to that dude, too. He's like, bro. bro. Literally, he didn't score. I don't think he's so. seven, whatever. I don't like this six four like, Mexican dude. Uh-huh. And uh, I think in like both games, he scored like, what, like six? It was like six points. Mm-hmm. And like he got like three rebounds, maybe, in both games. And like one time, like, I was lucky about the whole game. He got the ball like once in the post, and he just passed it out. Cause I was like, I just stayed like low on him. Yeah. He was too, too tall. And uh, he literally made one like one, and then he called me a baby, and then I said something like, "Bro, really? Like, how are you gonna get bullied like all game? Make one layup, and then start talking trash?" Cause like you said, like I'm not boxing out, bro. Like, uh, I'll like it goes back. Yeah. And uh, but yeah. The, I try not to like buy into that because then it like throws me off on the game. Yeah. So I just kind of like stay silent. Like, what if, like kind of like a silent like assassin or whatever. Like, yeah. I just stay silent, just do my job, and then I let my like my skills and my uh, technique on the field or whatever like do the talking. You know. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm like, what was your like lowest experience? Like, what was like the worst experience you had? Like? <laughs> That was my worst sporting performance ever. Like, I've never like sucked that bad, except at the one playoff draft. Which one? It was a tough one. Uh, Question two. Yeah. Remember when I missed like eight lifts? Oh yeah. yeah. No, but those like story right was bad because like it was just the like because it was me like it wasn't like. The team where like mm-hmm. it was a snapping. Yeah. It was just all me. And I messed up like what was it like what was it like four times? Like 
three or four times. Yeah. I didn't watch the game. It was three or four like yeah. snaps yeah. over the head, and one of them was like low, and like Isaac got killed, like bad. And then that game, like I got all the already in my head, like after those snaps, uh -huh. and then uh, I kind of like let it affect me, and that was like that. I could, I let it affect me, which affected the team because everyone saw like I was like, like out of it, uh -huh. and then I. That's like the only game I let up the sack. Definitely struggling. I never, the thing is, like, I never get like that. I think it was just more of a, like, that, that, that was like, all me. Was, like, the person that was talking to Like, me. literally, they would, yeah. They literally, I think it was like, off of like my best snaps or whatever, they yeah. scored like 23 points or something like that. So that was very, that was lowest of the low for sure. Well, what about outside football? Well, that the one basketball game. Right? Oh, outside sports. Oh, outside so sports. That's it. I said you didn't have any other bad experiences like outside sports. Like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to get into that. Really, <laughs> bro? Well, I mean, it was just like a relationship. I'm just gonna say that. Uh huh. So, um, <laughs> moving on from that, if you had to pick any movie character, like TV show character, like anything from like anywhere mm -hmm. that was most similar to you, who would you choose? That's a really good question. I I have never thought about that. Like it could be from any like, movie, TV show. I've never, Game. I've never thought about that. Like, really? like I've never like, thought about that. Like, who do you think? You look at something you're like definitely. I try. I don't like uh, like. Who do you think? Like, I don't like like touching on myself. Like, like per se, like, like, just like comparing. Like, I don't know. It's just like a meet. Like, who do you like? I don't know. Who do I think you're most similar to? I've never thought about that. Like, honestly. It's like, that's a, actually a really good question. I just never thought about that. Um, I don't know. Okay, but like, who who is your most favorite character in movie TV show? For a while, for a while, it was the Hulk. I was like, cause like, oh okay. So before, like, I was like, I felt like I was the Hulk. Okay. Cause like, I was like, I had like a short temper. And I was just like, get mad. Like, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of like, messed up. Okay. It didn't like it bad. And uh, it used to be the Hulk, but then I think it was the Reactor Rock. Oh, when he went dead and he turned like, into his model? No, no. no. The Infinity War? Infinity War. When he got messed up by Thanos and like he kind of just like sat there and like couldn't turn back into the Hulk or whatever, I was like, yeah, no. Um, no. So then it was Thor for a little bit. I thought, I, th I still like Thor. I think Thor's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But then Batman. Ever since that is a great movie. It's honestly it's probably top ten already. Top top, top ten what? Top movies. movies? No, movies, okay. just like in general. Like my favorite. Mm -hmm. Um that movie was so good. It made me like that many so much more. Like and then I don't know, like have you watched uh you watched Moon Knight? No, I don't know. No? I don't know if you like that. Yeah. So Moon Knight is like he's kinda like the Batman, yeah. like sort of. So like Batman and Moon Knight are like my favorite characters, like in the like Marvel, like DC. Because Batman was just like cool, like, and it's a cool stuff. Like, theme song and all that, mm -hmm. just like being like. Oh, I like I like the theme song. Uh, <laughs> huh? Which one? Oh, the uh, the something in the way, right? The, or no, 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 it's actual theme song. Yeah, it's actual. It's actual theme, yeah, that was hard. Like I just like the whole like, I mean, like, like dark and like the action scenes are actually really good. And then that car chase. I like that. But uh, you should definitely watch Moon Knight. Moon Knight's like my favorite character in my opinion. Is it like the best show out of like the Disney Plus? In my, it's only been like four episodes, but in my personal, like, just me, I think it's like the best one. It's a lot of, it's a lot better action. Because like, WandaVision was cool. Like, yeah, yeah, I know like, you liked WandaVision. Huh? I know you liked that one. Yeah, it was good for the plot. Um, um, uh, no, definitely that was a, 
That was definitely good. Um, it's setup stuff. It's like setup stuff. So Loki, that was more of like setup shows. Yeah. Where this one, I feel like it's very. It's like its own thing. It's its own thing. It's like sitting there like on its own. And like, it, no, it's not even really spoiler for you, but it has a lot to do with Egyptian like mythology and stuff. Yeah. And I find like that's what's cool, like all the pyramids and like all the the, the gods or whatever. Yeah. It's like really cool. So I definitely recommend watching it. But Moon Knight's definitely it's Moon Knight and Batman that are like my favorite. Like, well, Batman first the whole crew pretty much that. Or without like, any Batman, like like you know what I'm talking about? Like there's different Batman. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like the Batman Loki, because yeah, Hulk is like big and strong, but he's like once he gets into that like state of just being the Hulk, he uh, tends to be very just like Whatever. aggressive, like just aggressive for no reason. And I oh. feel like the Batman like he'll like outsmart him, like with all his like like uh, all the stuff he uses. Yeah. Like he definitely outsmart him, and like somehow like just mess up the Hulk. That's just my opinion. What do you think? Like, I think I think that the Hulk would win. So who would win in a fight? Hulk or Batman? Like, who would win? Smart Hulk or Batman? Like, 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 like the smaller, like, like, like plastic Hulk? Yeah. Um, probably. I feel like Batman soon. Like, Batman? I feel like Batman. He's just like, very creative in the ways he like, mm-hmm. like with Superman and all that, like with the kryptonite and like, just like he has like weakness. Like, once he, if he finds your weakness, it's like, and I just like, like, he's aggressive when he needs to be, and just like, the like those fight scenes and stuff. But like, mm-hmm. I think I, de- I definitely think uh, Batman would like, yeah, the whole like the best one, whatever. But I feel like it's more of like figuring out. Yeah. Instead of uh, fight, like tactical, like, like tactical, like fighting, yeah. Like, um, <laughs> out of all the Batman, just the best one. Like Christian Bale, um, Madison. Might be biased, but I'm, I'm gonna say Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. It's like that. Is that the best Batman movie? I still think the Dark Knight's up. The only reason the Dark Knight is up there, okay, if we're talking about just Batman, just pure, like just Batman, yeah. it's definitely Chris, uh, uh, it's definitely Robert Pattinson. Because honestly, the Dark Knight, who makes that movie? The Joker. That's true. Right? Mm-hmm. So if we're just talking about just the Batman itself, just Batman, I'm sure Robert Pattinson. And I think the only reason that the Dark Knight's up there is because of the Joker. You know? Yeah. Uh, I I I think this new Batman or Art of Batman. It's just like this is supposed to be like that. Batman. He made a movie. Like the Batman, not the So what's your biggest fear? Wow. There's a lot. There's like. Right. Yeah. What is your biggest fear? You have multiple. Is there only one? What are they? There's definitely multiple. It's. There's like three main ones. Yeah. I, I'll get. The last, the last one's going to be kind of deep. So I'll go to the other one. Well, the dark. I don't know why. Uh-huh. I, I don't like the dark. Like, I'm very paranoid for some reason. There's literally no reason. Wait, if you were with someone in the dark, would you be fine? Or is it just by yourself? Well, still, like, I'd be like, I have to walk in front of them because I don't want to bat. Like, it's, like, I'm, I'm like, paranoid. I'm very paranoid for some reason. Like, if I'm at home alone or whatever, like, do you ever just, like, walk with, like, your back against the wall? Home alone? At night? Yeah. Or, and just in general. No? Well, well, I do that. Because I, I don't know why. Being home alone? It's like weird. Like I feel like someone's like watching me. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so paranoid. The biggest thing is that. No, even like getting a fence on something. 
I don't know. I just feel like some of those like falling or something. So the other one is snakes. I hate snakes. Death be with them. <laughs> like I used to, be, it used to be like so bad that uh, I couldn't like see the pictures. Is that snakes like that? Yeah. No, but now I'm good. Like I can see the pictures, but it's without. Me. But uh, if I see one in real life, I'm, I'm like, if I'm with someone, they're, they're going on full. I'm, I'm done. Like it's like that. Like that one's like really good. Good. So a lot of people afraid of spiders and like so like that. I don't really care about spiders, but like snakes, yeah. That one's that one's this one. This one's deep. This one's deep. This one's very deep. Okay. Very, very deep. Well, like the last one, I'm like like my last like main fear is just like like growing up. Yeah. Just realizing that one day. They're just gonna be me. Yeah. Like you on your own? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty close. That's like. That's not. No, well, cool. that's the difference. But I'm saying like. I think about like. You know, I'm saying like. 30 years from now? Yeah. I'm oh, saying okay. like. That, uh. Like, I hate to talk, talk about this and like, just like think about it. But yeah. My like, parents are not always gonna be there. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna be gone one day. And just to think about that and like how. We have a whole. Like life ahead of us. Yeah. Like we, we just, it seems like we've gone through a lot, but literally we, we've experienced nothing. And that's just crazy to me. Because there's a whole other world once we like are on our own. Like we might have to like raise like kids, like just like all that. Just trying to figure it out. So that's like a really big fear of mine. Because I like I'm a really big family guy. Um I just love being around like my family. Just like my friends, my family like, kind of leaving. Which is, it's not like too, too far. Like, I'm not going to another state or anything. Yeah. Still, like, I'm still going to be like, oh my God. It's not like I'm seeing every day. So I'm not, I'm ready, but I'm also like, scared. You're nervous? Well, not nervous. Just, it's going to, I know it's going to be a struggle for me to go live on my own. Just to, because I'm going to be away from my family. Yeah. Because we do everything together. Like, my, bag, my family is a very, very big part of my life. And, uh. They're, yeah, they're just like a really big part of my life. So who's your role model? Is he is he in your family or is it just... Well, honestly, it's probably my brother. Because he, obviously he's gone through like so much and he still stays very level-headed, very uh, persevering. Um, mm -hmm. He, uh, he always like has like this positive attitude and like kind of like light to him yeah where even though he might have like the worst day like ever like he'll still like try to take the good out of it and just like um just always looking on the bright side and uh trying to make good of any situation because he's been in a lot of very messed up situations very uh i want to say like unlucky but just like because like he's like had all the surgeries or whatever yeah. he's like like he just goes through a lot yeah. and uh, I definitely want to hopefully like be like him one day where it's just um, just focusing on the good just try to stay with like a positive attitude that he is a big reason where I'm at right now especially yeah. with sports mm -hmm. he's always taught me everything like he has like this love for sports that's like unmatched it might have to, it might deal with that he was never able to play like college not like like high school college sports yeah because uh like, so he's always just been like a manager and he just like loves being around it and um yeah he's just like he always helps me on the sidelines with like picking that like stuff that i need to get better at yeah um especially like football like he was on the sidelines which like, was a really big help for me and for basketball, he's like, he helped with the coaching and like he was on the like bench, whatever. Or like he, the scores table. So I was all, I'd like, I would always like talk to him before I check in. Just like, like and then uh, like a time out, like, I was like, look to him, like, just like, you know, like, fine, whatever. Yeah. So he's very, uh, he's very intelligent, with, especially with sports. Like, he's a really smart guy. He just like, the school is like, I don't know why. But he's really smart. And uh, you can learn a lot from him. Like, he's very, uh, he's a very good person just to, be around. Be around. Like, 
just I know I'm not I'm not trying to get like whatever, but yeah. it's very I'm very blessed to have him in my life. You know, just like be there with me, just like be my brother. You know? Yeah. So like, fast forward ten years, there's a Bishop of Mont reunion, very class. So what stories are you telling? Oh, hopefully, like, I'm looking to hopefully uh, just tell everyone how the maybe like the NFL's going or something. You know, mm -hmm. it's like having the experience of just being like on a, like a football team would be really cool. Especially mm -hmm. just like as a long snapper, like the guys like they get paid pretty well. And uh, it's not like too much wear and tear on the body. Yeah. You know, like linemen, like I am low key, like really glad that I'm only gonna like long snap in, in high school or college, but um, because just the fact that like I'm not gonna get like hit or play whatever, but I'm still like a really big part of like, the football team. Yeah. It's a really big role, and not a lot of people want to do it. So I'm really glad that I got into that. So hopefully, who are you playing for? Forty Nineers. It was funny, is uh it's obviously like my favorite football team before yeah. that and see it, so. especially in my wrestle was But uh hopefully the Niners obviously because that's like just like the team I, yeah. <laughs> that's just the team I grew up with. Uh liking. Uh but uh it was funny is that because uh, my mom's like a diehard Raiders fan uh -huh. and she's like crazy. Uh and she said that if if I had the opportunity to go play for the Broncos or something like that, she wouldn't let me. Really? And I feel like she's serious, kind of. I she said that she wouldn't like if I was like on the Broncos or something, she would not wear my jersey. She would like wear like my high school or like college jersey to the game. Like she's like die hard like that. Uh -huh. Like that. It's pretty funny. And uh like you kind of have to when the radio games on, you kind of just push your fingers. I can't watch radio games like that. Should be yelling and stuff. So like, in ten years, if we talk about like having the NFL, hopefully, like that's the that's the plan. Like like how the NFL is going now, just like yeah, the opportunities and like the people you meet going along with that. And uh, yeah. okay, so that's that was the last question. So that's like the end of our pad of our podcast. Thank you for having uh, me on this. Thank so you for having me. Thank you, having me. Appreciate it. Thank you, telling us about your life, yeah. man. Got a little deep there, just, just a little bit, uh -huh. just a little bit, but uh, thank you for having me. It was a really good experience, and thank you for giving me this opportunity again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.